you very much. NBC 15 is your back to school station. A lot of families right now are trying to figure out what exactly they're going to do after school as it's not always easy for all moms and dads to be right there when the school day ends. There are any number of options for child care or after school programs, but some of the more popular tend to come from Madison Schools Community Recreation Program. And with us today, we have the executive director of MSCR, Lucy Chapman. Lucy, thanks so much for being Hi. here. Really appreciate it. First of all, are we seeing an expanding number of courses? It seems like it. We were just at school registration this morning, picked up uh, the options for after school programs, and a ton of fun. Well, we have every semester, it seems like we add a few things, but some of the newer things are New Estro Mundo's expanding over into a new building, so there'll be a new program there. We have a uh, lot of new preschool and family kind of activities that you can do with a family as well in the evening. But uh, we have 12 after school sites in, in our elementary schools and we have programs at every middle and all the high schools as well. Some great options for families. What is the most important thing that you would want families to know who've never done an MSCR after school program in terms of affordability, mm -hmm. um, accessibility? Well, for kids that, that are at school, they can find the information that's exactly appropriate to their school at school. So uh, don't be hesitant to ask for a fee assistant or a fee waiver. We have everything available online for people who have access to that. So everything's available to look at and then don't hesitate to ask if they need financial assistance. Okay. So I, I know we're looking at some of the photos here right now. You've got everything from sporting programs. We were looking at um, a gardening program earlier? Right. Many of our after school programs do take kids out into the school gardens and they're doing harvest. They'll be doing that now as soon as school starts and um, they work in the spring to get them ready so and tend them through the summer so a lot of the kids in after school get that exposure. Nice and I know that there are even like some ski clubs and some other really middle school kids ski clubs are available um, sports of most kind flag football is popular in the fall right now soccer basketball um, for for uh, high school kids? Same thing. There's very specific to their school, but there's some across the district. We have certain sports where the schools compete against each other on weekends, and those uh, for fall, it's um, foot, volleyball is, is happening. So a great way, especially for families who have children that may not be as engaged in actually playing the team sport. Like WIAA. With the, yeah, right. with the school, but if you right. are hoping that they'll stay active. Yes, we help, we encourage kids to try something. This is a great opportunity to sign up for something and if they don't like it, they don't have to do it again, but it keeps them active. They might learn something new. Dance after school is even hip hop. We have uh, ballet. We have many sports that are just for fun and not competitive where kids can learn and be active. Lucy, thank you so much. And not just for this, the kids. I know that there are a lot of great programs for parents too if you want to check those out. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much for coming.